it was very interesting. We had a discussion yesterday similar to this, um, and there are at the moment lots of different options for establishments to go with regard to getting rid of their food waste. Um, we wear quite an important CSR hat and we feel quite strongly the fact that we manage our waste. I try, you know, if I start with the fact that we actually keep a log of the weight of our waste so that if we have a spike I'm going back and saying to the guys, hey why have we done X kilo more today? What went wrong? Who overproduced? Did we have a function that didn't deliver the numbers and we couldn't reuse it. So, you know, I think the first thing we've all got to do is look at production levels. But obviously waste is, is uh, built up. Up to about six months ago, we had a machine that was basically a, a food liquidizer, made it into a pulp, put it into a tank, a tanker came along and took it away for composting. It's a green way of doing it, um, but you've also got the, the you've got to have this huge tank somewhere where it's collected. If you haven't got that space, the smaller establishments, it's not a great way of doing things. Um, it's a cost, which sometimes doesn't work for smaller establishments. Then recently we were introduced, so we, we've had the NVAC system for eight years. It was coming to end of its shelf life. We needed to progress. We were then um, looking around at what was in the market nowadays. And I think PKL just down there have got a similar unit. Um, but Biotech was a company that we were introduced to and it's basically a stainless steel box that is in my kitchen now with a lid. It's got a paddle that rotates constantly. It's kept at a constant temperature of about 38 to 44 degrees and it has enzymes in there that are exactly the same as in our tummies. And basically I throw the food waste in, the enzymes eats it and turns it into liquid and it's through a filtration system, the easiest way to explain it is it goes down the drain. And it's totally safe because it's all natural. It's exactly what we pass through our bodies. The enzymes are kept to that perfect temperature to keep, keep it going through. Now, the unit is, again, probably the size of the dishwasher over there. You might not have that much space in the kitchen. But to me, it's certainly a way of the future because you know, this is self-perpetuating, so the enzymes um, reproduce themselves and, you know, grow. I don't know enough about biology to say how it does it, but it does it. And I was absolutely amazed to see that it takes about 160 kilo of waste a day, and by the following morning there's nothing in there, except in the, 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 the thing. So a brilliant way of it happening, and I think, you know, as more companies come on board and more do it, I have grave concerns about it going through the water channels but we've been told by the, the various departments within government it's absolutely safe that it's not going to be polluting our waters it's not going to be doing anything 12 months down the line don't know but at the moment and it, it has been out there for quite a considerable amount of time now so you know that's the way we're dealing with it there are other ways but certainly um, I'm only four months into using it but at the moment I'm impressed